this is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts and today I'm going to walk you through a new listing. This is a 2001 Tierra 2900 Coronet Harbor Edition. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. The whole side of the boat has just had an extreme detailing where they color sanded down the gel coat and uh, touched it up uh, where it needed, where there were scratches and then buffed the whole thing out. So it's looking really great. Um, I think you can see the see the shine on it right there. Uh, we have a windless anchor here on the bow. Great bow rails. All your bright works in great condition. Windshield paint is in excellent condition. All your pinstriping is very nice, and your through hauls look to be in good condition as well. This is a two-owner boat. Uh, the current owner, he and I, we brought this boat from Bedford, Massachusetts, where it was used during the summer and then stored indoors. We've got a nice radar arch with our Garmin HD radar. It has XM and uh, some nice rod holders and fishing features here. You can see there's rod holders in all the gunnels. And he's added some cleats here um, because he has a small dinghy that he flips up on the back of the boat. You can see the mounts for it here on the swim platform. Okay, as we step aboard, we've added a blue water bait system, 40 gallon tank. It's nice and tall so you can reach over the transom really easy. Here in our cockpit, we have some nice seating and combing bolsters. And these seats these will remove. There's little pins down here in the bottom. You just push the center of the pin, pull them out. You can leave the seats on the dock for when you're out fishing. You also have some nice cup holders all the way around. All this upholstery here has been redone. Here's our helm companion seating. It has storage underneath. And here's our little wet bar area here. So you have a little sink and cutting board. And then on this side, he uses it for his fishing gear, but it can be used as a little ice chest and you can put some beers in there as well. You have a massive storage locker here under the seat. Got that great Tierra non-skid. Great teak wheel. I love the style of wheel. And, uh, you know, all the gauges and uh, switches and everything are in great condition. Anything that uh, didn't look good, he replaced. Breaker panel here. Nice speaker system throughout. We've got a new ICOM M504 radio. We have GMI 10 multi-gauges. Uh, this one's being used for... Uh, he uses it for depth and water temperature, and this one gives him gallons per hour. It's a flow meter. And here's our radar GPS, and this has the ability to have XM satellite weather. Like I was saying, all the gauges are in good shape. We've got 1,082 hours on the boat. I'll be showing you the engine room here in a minute. Um, and uh, he's done quite a bit of upkeep and maintenance. I think both owners have, really. Um, all of our canvas, this is all brand new. And he has a secondary bimini here that will go on out, um, you know, another few feet uh, over the cockpit to give you some extra shade. Okay. We have a new mattress with nice foam uh, that he had done here, and then there's a little filler cushion that goes in. It's quite large. I'm six foot five. I've stayed on these boats before, and it's not bad at all. Headroom, you know, is probably better for someone six foot or under. Um, we also have a new stereo here with Bluetooth. Now, there is XM being piped into the head unit of the GPS. You could hook the head unit to your stereo system and have XM just uh, by adding one wire. Uh, these boats did not come with hot water because they're really set up as kind of a day fishing, day cruising boat. He has added a tankless hot water heater. Um, and he's also added a 2000 watt power inverter here under the sink that has a USB as well. Nice little Norcoil refrigerator here. All of your battery switches are here under the stairs. And in the, in the head here, um, he's added a new toilet. Um, he had a little head odor, so he added a freshwater toilet here in this area. But you can see you have a nice little sink here. Um, and and your head 
Not, there's no shower on these boats, but you do have the sink, the mirror, and a nice enclosed head. Okay, I'll be back in just a second. I'm gonna lift up this engine hatch. Uh, the engine hatch here is uh, electronically operated. You have a small hatch you can go down through the center or you can push a button and this whole deck will raise up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, here in our engine room we have two Crusader 7.4 liter engines and uh, the current owner has gone through these um, not really because it needed it, but that's just how he is and he likes things to be perfect and have peace of mind when he's out in the ocean. Uh, when we purchased the boat it, it did very well in survey, uh, but you know this particular gentleman has run uh, large pieces of equipment all of his life and he really likes his things to be right. So what we've, what we've done in here uh, is it has all new spark plugs, it has new plug wires, caps, rotors, uh, the heat exchangers were disassembled, inspected, and cleaned. It has new manifolds and risers. Um, it has uh, all new hoses. It has new dripless shaft seal housings and seals for your shafts. It has new water pumps, new batteries, um, and he added an extra water tank because he went to a freshwater head versus a saltwater head. Um, so let me just show you around here. You can see here on the top, when he did his services, he had the compression check. Uh, done and they painted the compressions right there and they're all very nice right where they should be You have the dates that the manifolds were done right here And you can see all the new hoses and wires um, All your manifolds. These are great engines um, and um, This uh, boat will cruise over to Catalina all day long with a full load of people at about 25 miles an hour while burning about 28 gallons per hour combined and it has a top speed of about 30 knots Here's your through-haul strainers, very easy to access through your uh, center hatch here. And you know, everything's just as it should be. If you purchase this boat, you know you're getting a boat that has had a lot of loving care and time and effort and money spent on it. And you can pull away from the dock and it's going to be in perfect condition um, for your coming summer. Okay, and wrapping up, I'd just like to cover in depth a couple features that I kind of glossed over earlier. Uh, the first being this really nice extended sunshade. It's very easy to put up. It goes up in a couple seconds. Uh, and when you're in Catalina, this is very nice because in the afternoon, you're going to get a lot of sun into this area and onto your aft-facing seat here. With this up, this is going to completely remedy that situation. and You're going to be nice and comfortable. Another cool feature is we have a wash down here and there's a hose that comes with the boat from Tierra. It just plugs in. As soon as it plugs in, it energizes the pump and then you can go ahead and uh, pump water. Um, another feature I talked about earlier was how easy it was to remove the seats when you want to go fishing. You just pull these up. There's four of them per seat and the seats are pretty lightweight and you can uh, then go ahead and uh, leave the seats on the dock. Also when those are out, you have some storage on either side that's very easy to access. All right, this has been Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts. And again, this is a 2001 Tierra 2900 Harbor Edition listed for sale in Newport Beach. It's at the Newport Dunes. And if you purchase the boat and you want the slip, it's a great marina. You can assume the slip with the boat. Um, please give me a call for more information on this boat or any other boat. I'm happy to help with all your boating needs. If you like the video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I try to come out with new videos at least once a week. Okay, we'll see you on the water. Have a great day.